will you let Riley know that I jerked off to a gif of her on my Nintendo 3DS? Yeah! Wow. <laughs> Bro, you get fucking two of those bad boys, four screens where you have Buffalo Wild Wings. This is crazy. <laughs> hey. We're in. Hey. We're talking about plants. We have Riley Reed today. with a, <clears throat> The fit is awesome. Oh, is it Christmas you. inspired or just Riley no, being Riley? Just That's just me. Yeah. I like to just have fun with clothes. God, I see. Every time I take a fashion risk, I look in the mirror and I go, dumb. Why did I, I think do I I definitely look at myself and I'm if the almost the dumber I look the better I think it is cuz really? I was like I was like this looks kind of stupid but I think it looks super rad because like it's not a vibe especially if I'm like trying on an outfit and I don't have like my hair and makeup done yeah. then I like look really stupid no. but then I'm like okay wait wait nah it's kind yeah. of a vibe. It's very just much slowly a slowly piece it together. I love you know? this. Start I love with the pants up. It brings yeah. out your eyes too, which Thank is nice. You. I always liked weird. Like even like when I was like super young, I used to like dress with a, you know, like your locker for like like yes. a regular I would yeah. wear that as jewelry, like on my pants. Like the, so the you would, locker on the yeah, locker. So you your locker would be open? No, no, no. I have, would buy I bought one because oh. I was like, oh, I want this oh. as like jewelry for my pants. Really? Like, awesome, like Flavor Flav should put a just a clock on your necklace. Type, yeah, I was just like into like doing weird stuff See, like I that. I was fucked in high school fashion wise. I went to a private school, so we had uh, uh, uniforms. Yeah, but how do you dress out in would, private school? But I would try to like do anything I could to try to like I would wear literally a. This sounds so private schooly, but <laughs> I would wear like a sweater like around my neck. Whoa, really breaking out, dude. No, no, but no one else, no one else would do it. <laughs> so like I was the only because dude, it doesn't, it doesn't look yeah. fucking sick. But I would do it just be like different because you're allowed to wear like sweaters, but I like wear it around. And then you're allowed to wear a tie, but no one would wear a fucking tie because you would have to wear like golf shirt. Whatever. You gotta wear a tie like on your head, like the the headband, you know. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> Really get crazy. Dude, what with is it. about Bob Mitzvah that you're like, you know what? A tie's going on my head. You're you're off the fruit punch and you're like, we're getting after it. We're feeling Dude, crazy. Have you ever respected a tie on a door? Just put your ear to the to the door and be like, they're fucking. I think is that just movies though? Where the that or a sock on the door? I didn't go to I didn't have that college experience. No. So, no. I, I did one even... semester and that was it. What was no, it? Just a rap? Just I hate this? No, I totaled my car and then started porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's the name of your bio. <laughs> that is. Totaled my car and started porn. Yeah. So. That sounds like a Mad Lib right there. That's, <laughs> did, I'm, wow. Did the, what did happened? The, How did the car, what happened? Uh, I was smoking weed and then I uh, made a left just, turn and I got, I was uh, gonna say, usually what is it? T-boned. 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 Yeah. Oh, I got gotcha, T-boned. gotcha. I was going to say, usually every time I smoke and drive, I drive so slow. I'm like, I couldn't total That's what a happened. hot wheel. Really? I was going, I was making a left turn, you know, it's like cr- yeah, traffic. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so I was like making my left turn and, like, and I was going too slow. Really? And the bitch fucking T-boned me. I swear I saw her coming. I was like, God damn it. Yeah. Was and it a, I was like, uh, Visine. <laughs> Oh, putting it in your eyes instantly. before the cops get there? Yeah. I was like 19 at the time. Like a deer in the headlights. Yeah, You're like, they'll like, turn, they'll turn. 18. And car. Yeah. What a car accident, dude. You ever get hit so hard with a car you start porn? What a, what a, what a, what <laughs> an not amazing only started, car but you crush it. I mean, you... <laughs> yeah, my car was totaled, so I was like trying to make quick money to, so that I could buy a car and go back to school because yeah, yeah, my yeah. college wow. was too what far. Were you, what were you majoring in? I was going to be a psychology professor. That was like my goal. That's the hottest like, thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, psychology professor? Just, just the word professor, it just brings up all these like, just like, you know, past memories of just porn, but like the professor. <laughs> no, but you know, the professor, it's like, I don't know, man. Like, you, I've sadly never got to play that role. Really? Hardly. I was typecast for so long as like the teenage girl. Like, mm. I remember it wasn't until like maybe seven years in porn that I shot my first like hot wife. Oh, because, yeah. like, I'll never be a MILF or anything, but I could be someone's hot wife. What yeah, a like, beautiful like, trajectory. Yeah. Here's but, what like, you do. I remember I was so excited for that You're day because like, yeah, I was like, me? yes, I, I can play my age. Oh, what? <laughs> like, I'm getting married? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Well, here's what you do. You do the psychology professor porn and you get the person who hit you in that and then they're a part of it too. It's full circle moment. I love oh, all damn. this. Oh, damn. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't know if that person. I'm sure is. I could probably find on a police record. It was some older woman. She was get not her in. Stoked. Gilfs are going up. Was was Gilf on the 2023 <laughs> had to top? Have, had to have been. There was a list of like the top trends and 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 everything that skyrocketed through Pornhub actually. Mature grew by 77. percent So mature that cougar. golden bachelor show. You can thank show. me because I've gotten older. That's true. You're welcome. Age like fine wine. Here's we're, we're aging with the times. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. So yeah, so yeah granny. 
132 percent. Uh, granny's up. 168 percent. Granny is up. Let me tell Whoa. you guys a secret. Let me tell you guys a secret, dude. About That's two weeks awesome. ago, about two weeks ago, I was like, "What's all the hype about?" Did some research. Hot. Really? Yeah, because these grannies know what's going on, dude. They got experience, HP. Yeah, and, yeah, and then it's it's the power dynamic, too, because generally the dudes are all younger. And she's like, you want cookies or you want me to suck your dick? And he's like, oh, let me take a fucking guess. Depends <laughs> on the cookies, I'm be honest. You're right, dude. Why can you have oatmeal both? raisin? <laughs> That's also true. You got oatmeal raisin? Dude, I Did you watch it at an elderly time, like 4 p.m.? Yeah, I had a butterscotch in my mouth. It was a whole thing. Nice. I, had, I lit candles. Like a matinee. Yeah, you know? I was knitting, but my dot, my cock. I honestly think because they have the Golden Bachelor, the, the the old man, maybe that's why it's booming up. Dude, have you seen the Golden Bachelor? He's hot. My man's hot. Is it Silver Fox what they call him? But yeah. it, it says granny, not like grandpa. But maybe they watch that and it's like there's an A to B on it where they're like, you know what? It sparked a few things. Yeah, because there's because there's like hot older women on here too. This guy could run for Congress. Yeah, so I would vote for him immediately. So, <laughs> so Dilf is, about is in there. Any guy who's over 60, I'd be like, you could be in the office. Dilf was it? Dilf was but, in there. But it's hand Dilf. in hand, literally. So, yeah, I but I feel like... Dilf. Whoa, so now it's not just any dad bod. Yeah. It's muscle Dilf. Dilf milf. Oh, muscle dilf. Okay. Can you Google muscle dilf? What does that look like? <laughs> yeah. Muscle dilf? Because I'm, I'm picturing- It looks dude. like this guy It looks right like here. the Bang Energy but CEO. He's going to be the same guy who comes up. Type in Bang Energy CEO. That's exactly what I picture for muscle dilf. Have you seen this guy? He's No. You've never seen this guy? Uh, he's, oh, he, I have. He's, 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 he takes like creatine. He's on steroids. He's, he's jacked. What is that thing around his muscle neck? Dilf. That is a medallion of his logo. <laughs> That oh, yeah, should. it's the bang. Yeah, bang yeah. energy, yeah. Also, I haven't seen one of those in maybe three years. I think he made his money then ran to Turks and Caicos. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think guy. he probably blew it all on hookers and cocaine. Like, or I don't creatine. He, he doesn't look like a dude that's like good with his money. Can we go back to the results? 2023. 2023, these are the top searches. Sex Super size. Ugh. Well, Super it wasn't coming size. from me. Yeah, so uh, just like big all around. We're talking uh, big boobs, big butts, big dicks. Um, everything's gaining. We want big. Damn. Yeah. Oh, and wait, wait, wait. Hold on. NPC was going up. How, how, how are you searching for NPCs on Pornhub? Oh, yeah, because that's probably because that one girl like got super popular. Yes. The pinky doll. Yes, you so are actually are probably right. looking for are like people NP doing. Yeah, a lot of like the OF girls started doing all that like NPC stuff right yes. after. Yes, it is hot. Well, why, but can we? Why? I don't know. Why is that hot? Because is it, gamers, is it like video games? Yeah, yeah. Gamers. gamers are like huge. That's yeah, like yeah. a huge community. It's so funny how hot I'm gamers like, are like now. that's like huge. Like gamers, when I remember them, was like South Park when they would make fun of them and the mom would bring like his shit bucket down and like his food. Yeah. But now gamers are like the hottest people. It's like Twitch streamers and whatnot. Yeah. Are, are there I hot mean, gamers? Oh, Yo, yeah. yeah. I mean, did you? I just watched what was it, the family plan, the Mark Wahlberg, and they have like Kill Boy. He's like the fucking hot gamer teenage boy. Yeah, it's the new age like, like Twitch streamer. He has like no social skills and he's like, yeah. I'm Kill Boy. Yo, really? <laughs> I haven't seen that. But it is funny. You'll like go out in like a club in LA and someone be like, Yo, that guy's like the number one Minecraft player and he's just balling out. He's got hoes everywhere. And you're like, Oh, Minecraft? Oh, yeah. What about like how they did the like race car thing with the gamers? Didn't they do that like PlayStation gamers and then they had them actual racing or something? No, you I guys need to fucking we need keep to up with your manly boy shit. You yeah, don't know about <laughs> gaming, racing. No, this, all, this, all this is why we're fucking up. Fucking do clips. I don't know. Hold on, yeah, what? this is why we're recording a podcast in the valley. We're fucking. <laughs> up, dude. We could be recording in Beverly Hills. There's houses that are just full with Twitch streamers and they're all just racking out millions. Yeah. And but we're can fucking I ask up. you, like, are they aesthetically pleasing these Twitch streamers? Or are they hot because mind. they're good at both I games? Think, yeah, I think it's both. Some of them are also probably funny because they're on the fucking mic all day. So yeah. they're like, ah. also true. And so, like, that's probably adds some sort of, like, sexual factor because yeah, you like, love riffing. a comedian. Yeah. Like, okay. Dude, everybody in FaZe Clan is, like, gorgeous. They're all just jacked. They pull. They're doing all right. Can we bring that up? I want to see Ooh. how Face Clan. They're just like the. They're, they are like some of the original like I, streamer guys yeah. who you'll just see. I don't know if that's. True. Oh, all... isn't a isn't. A, uh, I mean, uh, I guess uh, they are all pretty isn't boys. Isn't LeBron's son? But, in but one like of these? when you think of gamer, you, you think of like that. You're like, oh no, hell yeah, that looks like a paintball crew. It does. <laughs> it really does. It doesn't look. They look like they just finished but, playing the cross. But I, oh yeah. yeah, that's LeBron. LeBron yeah, yeah, I, knew Le I knew LeBron was part part of this thing. Regardless I, of, I think it's one of those things where a lot of these guys now, like uh, that guy, was, looked like definitely he goes to the gym. But then I think these guys also spend so much time indoors, like in front of a computer screen, that they probably just don't get a lot of sun. Probably yeah, you've I got think, these guys outside for a while. Just like I think plants, also put them by a window. It is like the social media space and making it where it's like you can like go in and you're not just like individually playing on your PC. You're mm -hmm. like playing in like a it like a 
a universe, a metaverse type. Yeah, yeah, right. You're playing, you're communicating, you're making friends with people and stuff like that. Yeah. So I feel like gaming has made it more of a community. Very and social. Not, not as isolating to an extent. It's still isolating, well, but dude, I don't think it is as much. It's getting, I mean, obviously it's already so massive, but like airports now <clears throat> will have full game, Yo, get, like that. gaming rooms. I've seen that. Whoa. Like, and there's like, there's like 30 room, yeah. desks all around like in the open. And I like, it was in the Dallas airport. I walked by and there's like, at, out of the 30 there's probably like 15 people and they're fucking playing. Yeah, it's paying yeah. them all. How people to, like watching them play too, which I'm like, yeah. that's super interesting. These kids who grew up with the fucking YouTubes of opening other yeah. presents and yeah. they're like, and now I want to watch other people do all We just like watching this. shit. That's really all it is. <laughs> yeah. It's just like watching stuff. God damn. Michael Blaustein doing stand-up comedy where 2024 tour is kicking off very soon and it is chaotic, okay? January 25th, Dayton, first show already sold out. Second show, tickets are uh, moving into grooving. January 26th to 27th, I'll be in Columbus. I think two out of the four already sold out. February 9th to 10th, Phoenix! God, I'm excited about these shows. February 22nd to the 24th, Ontario. February 28th, I'll be in Minneapolis. February 29th, I'll be in Milwaukee. March 1st to the 2nd, I'll be in Chicago. March 8th, Eighth, New York City Palladium Theater. Go grab tickets. Where I started stand up. So excited about that uh, show. March 9th, Atlanta at the Variety Theater. So freaking excited to play that theater as well. And guys, many, many, many more dates for 2024 on my freaking website at blogcomedy.com. That is blogcomedy.com. Guys, I don't really have tour dates till the end of the year, but I'm going to be in Salt Lake City out there in May and June. Going to be in Miami, Florida, Miss 305 uh, at, in June. We're going to be in Lexington, Kentucky in August. Get those now. They will sell out. Don't wait. A oh, little fun gift. Oh, babe, I didn't get you something to wrap up. Psych, there you did. Print it out. Lexington. Be there. TrevorWallsComedy.com. God Goddamn. This next ad is brought to you by Manscaped. It's almost 2024. Guess who's knocking at the door? Opportunity. And you might not get that opportunity if a shoddy pulls your pants down and she's like, I can't even find it. There's too much hair down there because he didn't Manscaped. Manscaped is the best ever to, to do it. You ever trim up the balls with a razor? You're cutting things with blood. You're, oh my God, it's too close to the skin, dude. You're, you're effing up because you're not using Manscaped. And what they have is a brand new lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Oh, what is that? Waterproof. It's got, uh, it, it doesn't use like metal blades. It's like a, it, it's, a, it's like cut proof. It's literally designed for those private areas down there, okay? And they have so much stuff on manscaped.com. I don't know if you've been to it, but they have underwears, they have anti-chafing ball deodorant, ball aftershave, lotion, crop preserve, plus all this you can get in one with a performance package 5.0 Ultra. It's a great gift. Look, you fucked up. You didn't get your boyfriend a good enough Christmas gift. Boo hoo! Redeem yourself in 2024 by being like, babe, I got you a new gift. It's all from Manscaped. They literally have everything. They have boxers. What, the fact that you're not on that website right now blows my mind. And if you want to get something else blown, penis, go to manscaped.com. Use promo code STIFF for 20% off and free shipping. Huh? That's a gift in itself. Manscaped.com, promo code STIFF, 20% off plus free shipping. God damn. Uniforms are up. I don't know if you saw this on the old hub. What Uniforms is this? are up. A, a, a man in uniform. Kind of hot. How is that up? Shouldn't it already but look, be up? women Whoa, so are okay. up a lot as well. Sol Where? Soldier doing numbers. Female well, I, I will say, soldier. a lot of war this year. Dude, female soldiers This are. specifically says female soldiers outranking military soldier and gay soldier. So female soldier is having a big... Um, a big increase this year. Mm -hmm. I want cosplay. a woman in like tactical gear. I type in uh, POV woman judge. Slim her. <laughs> That's pretty good. Banging a gavel. gavel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's guilty? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, what's the funniest thing a woman in power? Like, what? The, what is that? That what costume? Like, is it a judge? Is it a, a lady with a battering ram? What is it? You know what I want, honestly? Like a woman holding a gun to you. Hot. Hot. <laughs> all, that was hot. Yeah. Uh, hot. Searches through the roof. I think, I think a cop. Do you know why it pulls you over? Show me your pussy. <laughs> who's who's saying that? She who's said driving? It to me. Who's getting pulled over? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? But a woman in like a fucking oh undercover oh a detective under yeah solve the case. We, we have the the leather flap and comes out and the badges oh, right there. It's just a condom. What's there the hottest is. uniform for for men? Is it like uh, oh yeah, brawny towel guy? 
He's hot. I don't know. He's I love uniform. all uniforms, to be really? honest. Really? Like, I do. I don't like What about doctors. a correctional officer? Don't I like don't doctors. like a doctor uniform. They could be uh, fitted better. I think nurses have better uniforms than doctors. Do the, no, uh, I like only like the classic like pin-up nurse outfits or stuff okay. like that. Oh, no, you I don't, don't like the, I, the new scrubs? Nah, the new I don't scrubs think are it's so hot. The new scrubs look no, like they're built they by Reebok. Not. Yes, they are. <laughs> they're, 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 like the, that navy blue with oh, like the oh. Vienna. You like those? Dude, yeah. You, okay. <laughs> so you, you know who this is, so I'm not going to say it, but like... We, the, say it! I, just whisper okay, so in you're, his ear. So you're, so you're, your ex's friend. Oh, you got to bring my ex up into this, huh? Shut up! Your ex's yes, friend. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You know, had the fornication with her ex. Whoa! His, his, <laughs> his, ex's, his ex's friend, and you know she was uh, a, a nurse. She was a nurse, but she was like voluptuous. So, so it was the, her body, not the outfit. But it was the outfit. No, but it was the hiding the discreetness. I will say, of her body. In my old office oh, job, yeah. when it, if a girl had ass in like corporate pants, she had ass ass in real life. Yeah, I won't look good like that, like in Corpor baggy clothes. I'll no? just look no, I'll look like I'm putting on like my mom's clothes what or something. Think? I don't have a voluptuous body. I have the same voluptuous thing, dude. personality. Um, I I mean, yeah, I'll like make it look good with yeah. how I talk. Let's go. But I'll be like, don't I look amazing? But <laughs> right. But, yeah, I think but you won't like see that ass fucking hugging inside the shirt or whatever. You gotta yeah. get them like custom pleated a little I'll have bit. To, like, like pull it and then pull <laughs> well, do they have like you, you, yeah, grab you the could probably fabric. buy like a BBL like pad or something off Miami.com. You know, you just go to like just I don't know so if that's a real website. Take it off when yeah, we, you know dude, you're bored. So, just stir it up at a Christmas party. I didn't tell you this. I hooked up with a girl recently and they Whoa, had and the, cool. hey, all this sex. No, but she had she was she was in the process of going to a club. So she was all dolled what do you up, mean, whatever. In the process she, of going to the club. She was You talk funny. She's no <laughs> No, but she was, I, I got back from a show, I was at my place, so she stopped by for a dick appointment, and then wow. she was going, she cool. was going out. So she looked like, you know, she was like In the process up. of going to a club. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know. You son of a bitch. Okay, so tell us. <laughs> I'm trying. Speed bump. But she took out these, what are they called, cutlets? Oh, yeah. Chicken? Yeah, the chicken cutlet thing. Bro, but yeah, they yeah. were too big. Wait, what? what is it? I can't bring like about, a, I don't know how to explain it's it. It's like a... It's like a filler. So like yes. sometimes you could use it. Oh yeah, it. I love these. Yeah, they so sometimes fun. you could use okay, it depending Gabe. on like like for my outfit, I would wear something like that. I don't wear them, but like because I have no oh. I can't wear like a strap. And so oh, like okay. depending or like if you have an outfit that cuts like a V, but yeah. you still want the support, you could get the cutlet here. So like let's ah. say your shirt cuts like a V. You could still give yourself a cleavage without the with, because otherwise you don't have the support. So when you and say so, support, can you? So it's like so, so it's like, like you gray, can't. So it kind of like it's like wearing it's like wearing a bra. Is it's it like, like got it. gray Sticky. sweatpants for your tits? Somebody. Yes. No. Yes. No, it's, like, <laughs> it's like a bra. Like you could wear it like a bra. I think some women probably use it in addition to a bra. Yeah. That's what she did. She use it. But she use you, it in addition. You use it typically as a bra. I love just walking through like West Hollywood on a Saturday morning. You see like one of those like uh, the pasties just on the ground <laughs> floating in the wind. I see like a tumbleweed. I, you, you see know? way more than that, dude. There's, there's <laughs> yeah. syringes, loose dicks around, dude. I saw two boxes of just unopened dildos on the ground. Unopened. Two boxes. Resell unopened. it. What'd you do with them? Left them there. I'm not touching them. Yeah, what? don't Dude, touch Dude, the them. type of diseases, that's where COVID came from. Are you kidding me? Wuhan cocks. I'm not touching that. Well, all I'm so saying. So let me finish this. Holidays so she... are coming up. It could be a great white elephant. <laughs> I got you 12 unused dildos. So did you feel misled by her? No, no. I didn't uh. feel misled. My point is, is like she took them out. I actually liked because she took it out with the most confidence. Like, not give a fuck. I don't like that whole, like, timid, like, I I'm sorry. This is like, no, just take them out. She fucking took they just took the cuts, cutlets out, threw them on my fucking nightstand. It was hot. Nice. Yeah, but and they're yeah, super she sticky. Owned it. Yeah, like a judge. We're getting there. Yes, dude. And yeah, they were, they're sticky. That's what they I mean. They're supposed so to be sticky. like a bra. Usually, they, you use them yeah. as a replacement of a bra. Yeah, they were so fucking sticky. But the problem was, is she already had a little bit of boo. So is it is it just like? Hmm? Kind it of. just pushes it up? Kind of. Or, yeah, it just kind of gives you the it's support. It's like hairspray or, for your Or it will help give you the <laughs> cleavage. Like I said, like if you're wearing, like, you could wear a V-cut dress, mm -hmm. you know, like some girls have it. So it's like completely their whole decolletage is open. Oh, those are decolletage. decolletage. 
Yeah, what is that? This, George Washington? This? Did he sign that shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Decolletage of independence. Are you kidding me? Decolletage. That's, That's this. That's great. This is your decolletage. That's your neck. No, Cla this. You know what I learned? Clavicles. This is your clavicles. No. Clavicles are hot. This These is, are this clavicles. Is, this is, this is, this is a cum plate. You guys need more education. Very guys, true. You missed what I said. This Very is a cum plate. True. Nothing. Sick of it. <laughs> Sick of it. Yeah. No, no. We do appreciate that you respected her confidence. You liked that she owned it. So you're saying if I wanted to get it for my ass, I, it's so long as I take it off with confidence. Yeah. And Into it doesn't it. matter. Yeah. Into yeah. it. I feel that way like with men who with like shaving their their hair and stuff mm -hmm. like yeah. I don't care if you're hairy but I care if you shave it because that shows me that you're insecure with it oh. and I would rather you be confident with oh, it well, and like, so that's what I don't like is raise like, your hand if you shave like you shave your chest your chest yeah because here's the thing dude I would I would rock it if I was like like a hairy like yeah I fucking cut down so trees. The middle ground you got like a patchy beard of That's, chest hair. Yeah, dude. So it's like it's literally just dude, in the, like it here a little bit on my nipples and then a little bit down here. So it looks stupid. I it think looks like you a paint by numbers that I lost. Too paint. self critical on yourself. I don't That's think it looks true. that stupid. Male empowerment. This is what we need more of. <laughs> and if a woman won't sleep with you because you have a little bit of nipple hairs, then... yeah, fuck that stupid ass bitch. That's what I'm saying. She probably has nipple hairs too that she. Women plucked. do be having them. Like, they do be having. Them. Yeah, and sometimes I, I pluck them myself with my teeth. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, but I, also I feel like your body's more aesthetically, you know, it's. Well, th I think that's also the thing. It's like, it, yeah, because I think the patchiness it would, would take away from the. Uh, so some I, people would say aesthetically pleasing body. Cool. Cool. Fun. Cool. That's yeah. fair. I mean, that's fair. When you oil them up and your abs look all fit, oh, it's like dude, a whole thing. I get I've been, it. I've been fucking around with coconut oil recently. Just by herself? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, cooking? What are we talking? Give some details. No, just hold, just, it on. just hold a woman. Oh, cool. Oh, Why dude. Do I keep saying that. It makes, yeah, it's fun. It makes everything slip slidey and. But oh, I don't you, like the smell of it, though. It smells. You really, I actually love it. You I hate don't, it? I Does don't. it bring back like memories? You just no. hate the smell. Oh, maybe. Porn. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a porn yeah, set. PTSD. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. don't know if it's PTSD, but a lot of D. It's just like not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a uh, being on sets just feels so clinical sometimes, uh, and especially like so much of my career, I had a, a like a boyfriend, uh -huh. so it was like I was always very professional on set. So it's there, like as soon as know. the cameras are stopped rolling, I was like, I'm not helping you keep your blo your boner. Like, figure it out, male yeah. performer. But if I yeah. had a boyfriend, like if I had a boyfriend, I wouldn't do that. If I didn't, then I would be like a little bit more into it. But I tried to be so professional that I oh. felt like it made porn so clinical and like- a job. Like a job, yeah, yeah, like yeah. so much like a job that, I don't know. It's, yeah, maybe that's what it is. That when I think when I smell the coconut oil, I yeah. feel of like routine sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's that, like yeah, yeah. A that's steps. how I feel about every time I hear a Keurig coffee machine at my old office years ago. That's just oh, oh, the wow. only noise I would hear first thing in the morning is everybody just sad, dead inside doing that. So whenever I hear that, it takes me back to that. Mm. And then we'd fuck the Keurig. So I relate yeah. on many levels. Yeah, you, you. Get, you get stuck in one and your balls would fuck you. <laughs> yeah, no, but it is so interesting how it would bring you back. And it's just like just sitting there like, I don't want to be at this job. I would edit videos yeah. I, I, in the lunchroom just because I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to do YouTube. I want to do stand up. And then I was just like, what am I going to do to get away from that? Interesting. What is it about with you know porn set? Or go ahead. I was going to say, you know what brings me back to jobs is when someone yells corner. Do you guys know? Oh, because okay. we're restaurant? Right? Yells corner. Like I worked corner. at restaurants corner. like so, so long. Corner. And I don't know if, yeah, but. I never worked <clears> in the food industry. So if you're, so if you're like, if you have a plate of food or whatever, you're walking like around a corner, a lot of times someone's coming at the same time. Oh, so you say oh, corner, we say hot points corner, on set. Hot points, yeah. Hot hot corner. Points. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you say corner. So anytime yeah. when I hear that in a restaurant, I'm like, it, it brings like good memories, but also like Jesus. Oh, it, if you're like at a restaurant, you hear it in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, uh. that's that's the that's a curate coffee for me. The corner uh. thing kills me. Um, you were saying. I was just gonna say. I feel like every porn set they don't have enough furniture. It's always there's just too much couch. of this echo. It is reverberating. They have this oh, whole yeah. budget to get a million dollar place in an Encino, but nobody wants to put some rugs on the floor. So, to, who has what budget to get what million dollar place? I don't know. I must be watching something wrong. <laughs> I right. mean, like certain companies will have more budget, but especially after OnlyFans, it's like changed a lot. Oh. So it's like. There's like, it depends on what era of porn you're watching will depend on what era the studios were making is money. Only, and then the yeah. Is OnlyFans kind of like the Spotify of like what CDs were? 
for music? I don't know about Spotify's rules and it's or just and like it's, how and how it favors to the artist. So I can't. But I guess just like maybe that. like the streaming but, or how it's like. Well, taking I mean, away does like main. Spotify give the artist more money? No, you don't get really any. Oh, yeah. So it's that's, kind of the opposite then. Actually, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I, guess I don't know like, anything about. But it's that. like it's it's but essentially OnlyFans it, in itself just gave more power to the creator. So yeah. it just gave them more money. It also what it created is a central hub, kind of like a porn hub, a central yeah. place where ever because everyone had their own website so it was like clubs whatever or oh, someone yeah. sells palace or you yeah. know pinky's playhouse or you mm -hmm. know Love different little one. fucking things like that i just made <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I don't know I was just and so like <laughs> so they you it, and now only fans is only fans.com slash so and so's name so yeah. it created yeah. a central hub where your credit card is in one place as well yeah. so it made it i think that made it a it's place. like wix.com it's but more notable yeah, yeah 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 it's so more are the bigger no companies more. stressing or they're like there's so oh, Oh, yeah, oh, the really? companies make way less money. Wow. Oh yeah, it's like I mean I'm not really in the industry anymore, right. so like I I am like the last of my generation. Obviously, there's some girls in my generation yeah. with me, but like we're like the last. Our generation is the last of like what the porn industry was because now it's so different with OnlyFans. Yeah. Like it's it's just completely different. Like I'm not performing anymore, so I can't really speak on how it is. But like when I talk to some of my girlfriends who started right when i was exiting and they saw the trend they're like it's so different now like, but it, but it must be so like so different in such a positive way for you guys though uh yes it is yeah there's more power for us but there's still like some people like you know like being on <clears throat> set and there's like so much education that also comes from being on set like i oh, would have it. learned everything that yeah, i learned so if I, would, I didn't shoot for 10 years like i've i now know how to set up this fucking room yeah. with yeah. lights and a microphone and everything only because i was sat as the pretty girl on set and sat here and waited for everyone else to set it up for me mm -hmm. and yeah. so i just watched and yeah. i learned how to do everything this is such an interview question but i actually would love to know this so if you what how old were you when you got into porn first you said you're 19, 19. 20 so a as you now with all this knowledge what would you tell your 19 year old self like one piece of advice that would that you feel like would like change her like maybe perspective or like just give her a skill set that I you feel like i would have asked myself to be more like empathetic to those around me okay mm. and like um I think that would maybe be that that that's it because I feel like that there's a lot of people that I've crossed paths paths with when I was younger and I didn't have even just like the self awareness and the mindfulness that or, I feel like I could have almost even helped them in certain ways yeah, yeah, and yeah. whatnot and okay. so I just feel like I wish I would have also maybe had more courage to be like more assertive or whatever like i felt like i was empathetic because i saw that they struggled but like i didn't do anything to help them word, word, word. and so like i wish that i would have maybe just offered more help okay in, in ways that great I, answer I yeah i could have i thought you're gonna be like don't use canola oil like i thought it was gonna be like something like like <laughs> no you know I, mean? I just feel like a guy over now i realize how much power away. i've had and yeah. like all the inf all all of the things that have happened to me and how it's shaped me i wish i would have almost helped more if I I think I helped a lot but I, I, I feel like to this day, I feel yeah. like there's people that I th I can think of people that I was like whoa she's crazy and I'm like now I'm on I'm like oh I wish I would have reached out to her mm. instead of just being like damn she's fucking crazy <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah yeah I I feel like now as an adult I would have reacted differently that's a great answer though but I also feel like so you help so many people without even knowing it there's so many people who are in it who, now who look up to you and they're like I, I, w I would do anything to have 10% of the career you had yeah yeah I feel very fortunate god damn <laughs> We are here with microdose.com. You've been microdosing, I've been microdosing, we buddy, all dosing. They relieve anxiety, and pain, muscle tension. Buddy, we travel all the time and muscle tension is a big, big issue for me. Yes. And since I've been microdosing uh, with these gummies, it has really relieved a lot of the muscle tension, dude. Um, they help me sleep very nicely, which is great. I don't feel groggy the next day. It's just a little bit of a little little tip tap on your, on your brain. And let me tell you a secret, buddy. It spices up sex and intimacy, okay? Because it's just the right amount of THC. Yeah, this stuff's so good. I'm at micro trace. We're leaving that in. <laughs> <laughs> micro dose. Oh. Two. 
Trace three. I might micro trace. This stuff is great. And it's, it's, it's perfect. It's an entry level way into THC. It's nothing too much. Just a tiny dose work for me and my friends. And we all love them. just half a gummy is a perfect dose. To help me relax. Honestly, or if you want to go full, go full. Yeah, you but can micro dose a micro dose. So to learn more about micro dosing THC, go to microdose.com and hey. use code socks to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Did you hear me right? Free shipping and 30% off. That is insane. Again, that is microdose.com and use promo code SOCKS. Microdose.com, code SOCKS for 30% off plus free shipping your first order. Go get relaxed. Go increase the freaking focus and creativity of your life. Microdose.com. Literally, microdose.com. What a website. Microdose.com, 30% off. Goddamn. So, so when did you stop shooting? Because you're still, the Pornhub did the top charts and you're still like. I know, I'm so sad. I'm like number eight. I was like, oh, that's no, the but first like, time in oh, all really? my years. <laughs> but, when, but when did you stop? When did you stop shooting? I mean, uh, I stopped shooting for major companies like I think pre-COVID, actually. Yes, yeah, so I think you, I started yeah. like I stopped like right. But you're charting COVID. off of 2020 <laughs> shit. I know that's insane. Like yeah, and that, I'm half yeah. the dude. <laughs> Sick of it. <laughs> Yeah. That's so impressive, though. Yeah. But yeah. I still, like, shoot for myself. Correct. But, like, I don't shoot for any major companies anymore. Just because right. I was, like, I, at that point, also, I wanted to stop shooting because I was, like, looking for love. And I yeah. have had relationship issue after relationship issue mm -hmm. that always fell back into porn. And so I was like, I'm going to have to quit porn, but I'm not going to quit it for you or you, but I'll quit it for this you quit it for mystery me. man. Yeah, Cause yeah, yeah. then he'll feel like he, the I holes. can't blame him. I didn't want anyone that I would point fingers to and blame them. Right. <clears throat> okay. I would resent them. So you said you had a boyfriend for a lot of maybe the beginning years you said? No, just like throughout my entire career, oh, I was just, like, just I would have a boyfriend oh, and then I wouldn't have one for some time. And then I'd have another boyfriend. And then like, did you yeah. find shooting easier without or with a boyfriend? There were moments different? that were super hot when I didn't have a boyfriend, like Explain. especially like detailed, like, say it slow. like right <laughs> after I would break up with someone and oh. then I would go on set. And I'd be like, mm. <laughs> dude, that poor guy is like, oh, I'm about to get fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> I can't I'm, handle all this. I'm about to tear you up. Yeah, oh he's like, God. we got Riley Reed fresh off a relationship. Yeah. Get the fuck ready. He's like, my ACLs are going to break. Dude, that's but... a title that would do some fucking views right there. Yeah, there was a couple of those that I, I remember. I was like, those were good times on set. And the guy had no idea. Wow. I only dated one guy in porn, and then that was it. I was like, I'm never doing this again. So, What yeah. was that dynamic like? That was really difficult because that was when I was like, it, there was like r a lot of perks and like downsides to it. So like I was new in the industry and he was well established, but I start, was like first time making a lot of money in my life. He was already like a millionaire. So yeah. like that was like what was the best part of our relationship because like I never worried about him trying to take from me and yeah. I never, yeah. and I never took for cool. advantage of him because I s had so many girls who dated like the the porn guys who were making less money than them. Mm. And so I was dating like some director and everything and he owned his own production company oh, or whatever. So and, but I also think like he dated me because he saw potential in me and then we had some like certain issues. Weird dynamic, and yeah. yeah. Taken advantage, like he like, he bought RileyReed.com and wouldn't give it to me. He was trying to like oh, make me buy that's it. That's terrible. Yeah, he was like, he was like, you have to buy it for seven thousand dollars. And I was like, what? And so oh, I went like, together. Yeah, we were I don't together. Like that at and then all. he did that. And then I bought uh, ReadMyLips.com was my website. Way better. And right. so and then I was like, everyone who goes to RileyReed.com, that's not mine. Yeah, do you should. But buy now I got it. Like Good. after after I like publicly shamed it, then he yeah. was like, well, you're, you can have it. You can just have it back. You, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's awful. <laughs> yeah. Somebody it's has my no, website. But to be fair, and I'm not even fucking he them. He spitefully drove. He drove me to having my own website, my own production. He, I was like, oh yeah. You have such yeah. a positive mindset is beautiful yeah. because so many people would look at that and be like, fuck that guy forever. You're like, oh, I can just find a way around it uh, and yeah. make more money I, off of it. That's what I always do. I feel like I'm a very spitefully driven person. So when someone tells me I can't do something, I'm like, oh, yeah, motherfucker. Right. Oh. And yeah. so like I like I don't know how to program or anything, but like I Figured. built my website. I found it like I had a sports broadcaster who like streamed my stuff because I was like, I'm not going with any porn people. Oh, so I yeah. found all these like weird third party fucking that. things. I found this like third party payment processor and stuff like I just finessed it. And so I was like. I don't know how I made it work, but I made it work. And oh, yeah. shit. The Bezos of porn. I love yeah. that. Yeah. That's a great title right there. <laughs> uh, uh, so I, let's, You want to keep going? 
sure, let's take this out real quick. <laughs> and then sexual I did wanna... healing therapy, therapy worldwide. and porn. Bettercom.com. <laughs> it says worldwide <laughs> therapy. So, what, 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 I'm so curious. Wow, you Australia and therapy. Canada, it's up 500%. They need some help. Australia has no Australia idea what therapy is. Australia is an island of prisoners. They need all the therapy they can get. But what, hold on, I'm confused though. Therapy said. Uh, Therapy, so, sir. Is the so they just Googled therapy? Not Google. Massage therapy. Or Googled. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, on, on Pornhub, therapy in general up 344%. And then you can break that down by some people were looking for like actual like massage therapy. Some people were looking oh, for wow. therapists. Foot therapy, let's yeah. go. Yeah, oh yeah. Wow. It's like all that chiropractor stuff is trending. <laughs> right. That's just is so fucking weird to me. Those real? guys who like do that chiropractor stuff with the girls. They do it with like dogs too. And I'm like. They're like oh. crack a dog's neck. And I'm like, how do you know the dog needs that? What's oh. they telling you? He's like, bark, 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 well, bark, bark. I think bark. you could feel like. Oh, really? I mean, yeah, they're, you could feel the spine. Terrify me. Where but I mean, I'm not. I'm, yeah. Th- maybe if the it? dog was in a car accident and he needs it. Like T Bone, mm-hmm. then it became a porn star. <laughs> yeah. <Did> you, <laughs> have you ever got chiropractor jerked? Yeah, yeah, all the time. But I mean, not like for Instagram. I'm not like doing those like weird Instagram That's chiropractors. So funny. You're not scared, I, dude. I've I've been my, I've been doing it my whole life, and actually, uh, it helps me so much, and it like relieves a lot of tension. There's times where if I don't go, and then I go, I feel like a bobblehead. Like, oh, I'm like, I could breathe. Oh. Oh, like, really? You, I want to try. Go. Yeah. yeah, I, I have a great guy in Venice. Oh, I, really? yeah. Venice is the yeah. best. He's like, he's an older gentleman. He's like old. I don't deal with all this like new age type weird yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. chiropractors. Yeah, yeah. I have like two really good ones. Once in Venice. That's other one. Like, yeah, I'll introduce. You. I would. I, I, I would love to know They're really what I feel great. Like after, I feel so good. Is it like, better than a massage? It's different. It's but like a yes. longer effect, I'd imagine, because you're like yeah. releasing everything. Yeah. I'm yeah. just scared that the one time I did acid at Coachella is going to be like hit the spinal cord and I'm going to start tripping just for life after that. No, just remember to relax. Cool. Just like stay relaxed and like yeah. breathe. I have a hard Don't time. Don't stay tense. Like, yeah, I would love relaxed. so much of our life is sitting or just being in a car. And it's like, I would love to just release all those. And yeah, fuck it me makes up and a huge possible. difference. Does it? It really does. You I sleep see better, I see the chiropractor often. Yeah. Really? I sleep better. My hips feel better. My my body feels better. My neck feels better. My shoulders feel better. Maybe you come like, better too because everything's like fucking limber. open. Yeah. You yeah, breathe my, better. Oh. Like, yeah. My hip flexors is tight. So maybe a quick type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Have you ever got the needles in you? Oh, no, I've never done acupuncture. I've always either. wanted to. What is the benefits of that? It just like it releases freaks toxins. Me out. I'll take a wheatgrass shot and I'm like, yeah, that's all my body needed. <laughs> but like, there's so much more I need to do to just release yeah, tension is. or whatever. Does wheatgrass not make you feel weird? Hey, Every I time I do great. it, I feel fucking weird. I don't feel great. I just do it because I think it's good. I feel odd. Like a lemon lemon ginger shot. I'm like, oh, cool. This will fix my body. <laughs> and no. My husband does all that stuff. I, I, he does I, all those immunity shots and I'm like, Bleh. I think a lot of it's just a mental facade. We're like, this will the make me feel effect. better. Yes. Yeah. And who knows? You know, feel a little better. I mean, better. I think there's certain remedies that our, you know, food has, you know, we try to emulate yeah. certain things that our food has. Like, I mean, marijuana comes from a fucking plant, you mm-hmm. know, like shit like that. Dude, I just so started like, taking uh, uh, mushrooms. Uh, Lion's Mane. Lion's Mane. I don't mane. know what's that. Ooh, like honest, microdose or like it? N- no, 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 no. That's like in smoothies or some shit. No, it's like the shit in smoothies. It's supposed to help like memory and energy or whatever. Lion's Mane. I'm on day two. Whoa, do you do I look different? Do you remember a lot more? <laughs> no. Are what's you your sleeping well? To, you know, memory is impaired by not having a good sleep regimen. Well. Wait, what? hold on. What? I need to figure out a better sleep. I got eight hours last night. I feel like shit today. What oh. the hell is going on? No, then you're probably backed up on other lost sleep. Yes. And yeah. you're probably God, up you know otherwise. everything. I, yes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't get it. When I sleep in and I still feel bad, I go, what's happening here? Yeah, you just Who need do multiple I sue? days. You just need to catch up. I feel great on yes, seven. Yes, yes. When I get eight or more, I feel like shit. When I get five or less, I feel like shit. I got six hours. I got six and a half yesterday. I feel great. And I have lines made. Lines Maybe made. That's it. Taking <laughs> mushrooms now. Let's go. You're eating them. I'm telling you, I feel better. It's definitely. I placebo. mean, I'm not advocating to microdosing shrooms and everything. I think it's a like individual person, step by step. Like. Oh, it's, it's not. It's not like shrooms. It's not like oh, okay. uh, psychedelic. Oh, okay. It's like, uh, honestly, guys, I don't know. <laughs> Gabe can look it up, but it's not. It's not like psychedelic. Like I don't. It's not. It's just. Okay, it's so like it's shiitake like herbal, mushrooms. It's yeah, like exactly. Herbal thing. It's yeah. like oh, okay, like bee okay. pollen type shit. A hundred percent. Like it's. Yeah, yeah. Dude, if I was microdosing right now, buddy, things it would things would go off the rails. Good, do it. I, I have t- some. Do you? <laughs> Promo oh, you code. Do. Uh, <laughs> in my house, I do. But yeah, last time I took mushrooms on my birthday a year ago, and boy, I was 
I had the best time of my life. I was fascinated by the thought of a photo. I'm like, a photo is a, is a moment in time that you lived and it's captured right there forever. And everyone's like, yeah, that's how photos work. And I was like, you guys don't get it. Like, look <laughs> no, at that I moment. It's I understand that. Why wouldn't they go on board with that? I, I'm sober right I, now but, and I feel like that's a fucking crazy But I was concept. laughing my ass off and I was so like thankful for all my friends around me. Aww. And I was laughing so hard. And I was like, this moment will never happen again. But if we had it in a foot, like I could, everyone's like, <laughs> like I can't, like it was literally, it could have been a Kodak commercial. It was a beautiful moment. Aww. And this was all in the back of an Uber and we're just yelling. This guy's like, shut the fuck up. Dude, videos are crazy too. Like Video? you do a thing, you yep. press record and then you watch it later. Nothing's crazier than airdrop to me. How the fuck does airdrop work? Yeah, Blue the Tone's internet itself real. is fucking crazy. mind blowing to crazy. me. I'm like, how the fuck does I, they figure out that? I remember when I first got my phone year when I was in like eighth or ninth grade, and I hit the internet button and I panicked. I was like, oh no, we're, we're, I'm gonna charge my my dad seven dollars right now, panicking. Now it's like if, if if I don't have instant access to the internet, I'm like, what's happening? What's going on? Oh yeah, it's not crazy. It's, it's just saying you could order a burrito and jerk off in the same box. Your phone? Yeah. You can well, do you everything. You could also do that back in the day. You might just get kicked out of like that. Yeah, but you'd you know, be accused Chipotle. of witchcraft or whatever. <laughs> God damn. Bu -bu 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 Blue Chew. What is Blue Chew? It's a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, Levitra. God bless you, but in a chewable tablet at a fraction of the cost. Okay, I said a lot of jargon. What is it, Michael? Uh, my cock is hard when I chew it. And this is the other thing. You think you gotta time it right. No, you don't. Chew it and you do it. You chew it and you do it. And when the time and the mood strikes, you get harder than you ever thought you possibly could. And a lot of young people are like, man, I don't have trouble getting hard. Oh, yeah? What about round two? Round what two. about round three, bro? Round what three. What if you're a freak and a freak and she wants to go round six? What are you going to do? Chew the blue chew. I'll tell you what. But then... I don't want to go to CVS to get it. Good you news, you don't have to, bro. It goes right to your freaking door in the street packaging. It's incredible. You don't got to be in riot. and be like, hey, guess what? My cock doesn't freaking work. Don't have yeah. to worry about that, No dude. waiting in line at the stupid pharmacy. You got to smell the back of old people's necks. God damn. It smells like pine cones and sadness, guys. And it's made in the good old US cones. of A. That's where everything should be made. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Four built tough. No, my dick built tough. I'm off a of blue chew, red, white, and blue who? Blue chew. Bald eagles. You know, I, no promise behind this, but it might make your cock bigger mentally. I think emotionally too. Yeah. I'll tell yeah. you what, dude, when I'm fucking bricked up. That like, means fucking. Well, bricked up. Oh. But when I'm like rocked, I'm like, yo, this, I want to show it to somebody. Yeah, I don't even want to have sex anymore. <laughs> I want to go outside and <laughs> ring my neighbor's doorbell with my cock and be like, look at this thing. You think I'm just on YouTube? <laughs> I'll tell you what, ain't so YouTube short. What? His dick. That's what I was good. 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 Yeah. So right, listen, they're they're a big fan of the show. We're a big fan of them. Uh, very mutual. But most of all, Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. So discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. That's you guys. Try Blue Chew for free. What's up? Free. How Just much? use promo code SOCKS for free at the wow. checkout. Wow. Just pay the $5 for shipping, uh, and that's all you got to do. That's BlueChew.com, promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. Good job. God damn. Anything back in the day, witchcraft. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy to know that, like, that was real, and that's, like, not just from movies. Yeah. yeah. Like, Burned that's, like, we state. really did that shit. God, the amount of, marching. Well, the amount of exes that were like, oh, we're going to have a sloppy breakup, witch. She's like, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's get back together. Oh, yeah. How many people were accused of being witches just out of, like, pettiness? I mean, 16 to 17%. I mean, you churn one guy's Mind butter, man. and you're like, boom. Dead. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, there's, people who are fucking crazy. Public <gasps> hangings. Like, Public stoning. Public like, stonings. Well, uh, that, that shit, is that, that, is that where they crazy. bury you to your neck and they throw rocks at you? I don't know if they bury you to your neck. I don't know how it works. Mm. I'm not that educated on <laughs> old practices of torture. <laughs> you guys ever hear of, of tar, tar and feathering? Oh, yeah. That one's messed Bro, up. Bro, that's wild. It, Legit, they would throw hot tar on you uh -huh. and then throw feathers on Sounds you. Sounds kind of warm. Not warm. Cool. Lava hot. All right. Ow. And then, Terrible. and then throw feathers and you just walk. You just, that would be, so everyone would, it was like public shaming. It would hurt oh. like fuck. But then you just walk Damn. around the rest of your life. Feathers on you. The rest of your life? You can't shower? 
I mean, sir, I don't think they had showers, but it's oh. tar. It's like, have you ever seen like a? Uh, well, you oh step God, on you it in the beach. You would die. Your yes. skin wouldn't breathe. You would die. Uh, I don't. Like, know. I don't. Maybe sometimes you would die. But I would like, imagine they would have to die. There's got to be some toxic. What would you have to do that? to get tar and fit? Like, what would you stole a loaf of ciabatta? Like, what would make that Honestly, happen? Honestly, yeah. Or call like the queen a bitch or something. There, something weird. Oh yeah. There's always somebody stealing like a giant baguette in those old movies. It's baguette or apples. Take something better. <laughs> I mean, take a sheep. Take something you can like actually make. You yeah, can, I think stony gonna, back in the day, they, they bury you to your neck and throw rocks at you. It's I not mean, called a, it's not a neck, it's a, what's it called? Oh, this is your decolletage. 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 Uh, I, yeah, we're Sagittarius's, but I, <laughs> wait, if they bury you to your neck, I have such bad, like imagine they miss, you're like, ah, oh, I would start talking shit. Boo! <laughs> Dude, nice arm, idiot! Oh, dude, can you imagine getting but hit with a hit fuck? The, yeah, I mean, I mean dude, it's terrible. It's cut terrible. my head off. Yeah. What are we doing here? Guillotine. Guillotines are fire. Yeah. Are they? I wouldn't like to do it, but the idea is kind of cool. What? You're crazy. No, your head is like a like a, like a piece of cheese. Sratata. And, and then it rolls for like around. ten seconds after. I wonder what my the the view of seeing my own body for the first time not in a mirror would be kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. Dramatic. yeah, I'm back. Nice at. ass. <laughs> you guys watch way too much television. Uh, like you're we, too what, desensitized yeah. to the yeah. actual concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's not a real yeah. concept. No, no, no. no, no. All, all this is joke land. I would never want that to happen. But Jesus Christ. Nah. <laughs> Never maybe, that maybe. Never. Dude. Some days I feel that dude, way. Yeah, some days happen. I had a bad day yesterday. Guillotine over. <laughs> so fun. Hey, pay your taxes. Word. Yeah, ga, 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 ga. No taxes now. Who gives a shit? I also you, feel like the, the guillotine would be good for you guys because I think when they before they guillotine you, they just let you hang out in the public square for like a day, just really? in the thing. And so you guys yeah, but your just view be just, I'll your, do some bits. Your yeah, view is just, the ground. Well, no, your head's kind of pointing out towards like people that are yelling at you. Is it? Yeah, you're just yeah. getting heckled. You just What's do with crowd all the build up? No, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, let me hang out for a day. Let me hang out with my cat before this happens. I was like, bring your cock over. Let's make this interesting. You just ask someone to bring your cat. That's true. Hey, I'm going to be at the <laughs> town like, center at hey, noon. Hey, Billy. Yeah, I would sell tickets hey, to my own show. Billy. Yeah. Be like, you can have my cat if you just bring him over here. After <laughs> God, they they love public embarrassment back in the day. It was yeah. always meet in the middle of the town and then do some fucked up stuff. Yeah. Let's yeah. fight at high noon. This is why I won't be there. Yeah, I High remember noon. one kid in middle school was like, I he, he, he's like Saturday behind the CVS, we're fighting at noon. And I didn't go. Why would <laughs> I go to my own ass beating? It's crazy. He was Russian and he had a bigger brother. I knew he'd bring his brother. No, he wasn't even Russian, he was Ukraine. He would. He's like, I will bring my Who brother. Knows? He's like, both are fine. Both, both will be my ass. But, he's, <laughs> but then Monday morning, I, I'm at school. He's like, Why didn't you show up? Why would I show up to get my own ass beat? We're not even airing this on Rumble. Nobody sponsored by Prime. Like, why would I it's show up? Crazy. To my own ass beating. I, I don't know. Hey, you weren't there. Yeah, but, no shit. You know what's crazy when people are like, oh, you didn't show up. You're a pussy. Well, I guess I'm a pussy. Yeah, cool. Like back in the day, but if you got I'm a pussy, but I also pussy, can have my vision. I don't have a black eye right now. Correct. But if back in the day, dude, if you got called a pussy, you I would do anything. Like, oh, you're a bitch. Oh, I'm a bitch. Anything to fight against it. Well, yeah, to fight against the you be like the amount of things I did because someone was like, don't do, come on, man, don't be a bitch. The don't be a oh. bitch would make me do anything. Yes. I threw a load of baked potato at a teacher <laughs> Wait, what? because someone called me, be like, you won't do it. You're you, a soft bitch. You threw a load of baked potato at a teacher. Bagaga. You literally tar and feathered your teacher. Mrs. Peters, yeah. load of baked potato, yeah. cheddar cheese down your face. <laughs> Warm. Warm. Oh, yeah. Did fresh it, out. Fresh out. It, I just did this. <laughs> it wasn't at her, but it was. Huh. And I just but I had it. to have ricocheted. No, I she had definitely got hit with a chive somewhere. I had an arm. <laughs> <laughs> you hit your teacher with a loaded baked potato? Why yeah, are I you got, not in jail right now? I got in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> At the private school? I, yeah, I couldn't. That's eat. how I know it's a private school. You had loaded baked potatoes. Our school, we had cold pizzas. They were refrigerated pizzas and they would serve it to us. Yeah, but sir, I had no money. I told you how I, how I like why lunch every day. I would wait by the, we had vending machines. I'll wait by the vending machines and ask people for change. Like a private school homeless person. <laughs> I swear. You have change? You have change? Private and I would, equity, I would, yeah. And I would just go to and buy like a uh, McRib. Not a McRib. I did that one time at the mall, actually. Me and my friends were trying to see how much money we could get. I uh -huh. got $75 by the Shut end of the night mouth. by tell, asking strangers, oh, do you have a couple coins? I'm trying to catch the bus. When I was a teenager, I went to the mall. We got wow. 75 bucks. Dude, that's so much money. One guy almost got me because he was like, oh, do you got change? Like, he was like, oh, I oh, got Oh, you pull out. Yeah, you have one. He's like, oh, ones, do you have yeah. change? And I was like, no. I almost fell for it. I was like, no, I no, I don't. That's why I'm asking you. I can't take the bus home. I remember I did a lemonade oh stand God, with my neighbor so growing up. And he was uh, he was like two years younger. And he had this super cute, like, blonde hair. He was like, he was like the cute kid on the street. And when I did. How cute was he? All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stone him. But <laughs> but when I did Eliminate Sam by myself, maybe $3. This kid Slater pulled up next to me one day. I mean, people were just giving a, us a 20, but keep the change. I was like, you are forever the mascot of my Lemonade Sam. You had a lemonade stand? Know how to do business. Multiple. That's good. Yeah. You get jealous. You brought them in. That's what as it is. Partner. It's all about having a mascot, a face of the company. I didn't yeah. have a face of the company. I also was just using Tropicana. So, you know, I'm making profit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, well, I was, I was using the crystal. What's That's the crystal great. one? Uh, like, crystal. Light, the powder crystal one? light. Crystal yeah. light. Yeah. So good. Crystal, that was the one that I did for my lemonade stand. Crystal, crystal light, light the lemonade. The margins on that have to be crazy compared to like using crystal Tropicana. Light. Yeah, yeah. I would also steal my neighbor's mangoes. I grew up in Florida. Florida, so yeah. I would steal my neighbor's <laughs> mangoes and sell them. You were for you were a businesswoman from the jump. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think yeah. I just was like, I think also you like grow up watching all those like American little kid movies and the kids are always like Homeward doing bound, car yeah. washes and yeah, they're doing businesses. these things. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, we could do this. And we just stole them from my neighbor. Well, also $20 when you're back, then you're like, I can retire off this. Yeah. You feel like, yeah. And now we were charging like a dollar a mango. We thought we Damn. were like, Dude, I know people were really paying could, those you, prices You should have sold too. some avocados. <laughs> you would be living I in Iceland I think we probably right were selling avocados too. Dude, the like, ROI on that is insane. But it's, like in Florida. You grow it, so it's like the mangoes. Yeah, it all just grows. That is true. You have mango trees and avocado trees. Do iguanas really freeze in the winter in Florida and fall to the ground? I think so. That's crazy to me. That's what I would eat if I was homeless. You'd eat an iguana? Yeah, if it's just on the ground, if, <laughs> especially if it's frozen. Fucking a goddamn lizard popsicle. <laughs> You don't think you would just go to the trash at like I McDonald's? Would, no, <laughs> you would eat a. Yeah, I think you do that to this lizard. day. Yeah, a popsicle lizard that sounds great. I <laughs> mean, iguana? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna donate money to you if you're holding iguana. Spare change, you have an iguana <laughs> in your hand, or they might. You, I, you would look like a Florida man for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you guys from? I'm from Southern me. California. He's from. I'm from Maryland. Oh, okay. uh, close yeah. to DC. Um, what part of Florida are you from? Uh, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Fort Love that place. Great Jews. area. Yeah. A lot of Jewish people out there. Yeah, yeah my Are dad lives Jewish? in Boca. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know if you can just say that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 both, we both got the J card on us. We're good. We can throw out a, a, a subtle Jew. But, I don't but you just thank say you for that. watching. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's appropriate. You oh, just, no, God, no, no, no. So we, we both fellow Jews here. Uh, okay. Fort Lauderdale, I did a show there maybe a year and a half ago and this guy, I, I can't remember, I was, I was talking about something on stage about my ex and this guy goes, pussy! And it was one of the loudest laughters the whole show got. <laughs> this and is that other guy. Yes. And then later on, he would like do it at like, I would like go to him as like a soundboard. I'd be like, oh, oh so the other day I was da 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 and then he would yell, it was, I got to find the, the footage that's, of that. Oh, that's yeah, you got to post that. That's so funny. But yeah, I, I have to. But it became yeah, yeah. a whole like part of the show. Uh, I mean, it was great. It was Fort Lauderdale. A Riff Raff came to that show of all people. Good old Riff Raff. Jody uh, High Roller. What a guy. And is his last name really High Roller? No. Oh, it can't be. I, have, I don't think that's a government name at all. No, I don't think Jody's real either. Cool. Good. <laughs> cool me a lot, this whole podcast. It's fine. You guys want to keep going? This is so bad. Is that the yeah, list? There's, there's, some, well, there's some interesting we other We also wanted to do there. something. Uh, you had readmylips.com. We wanted to do Riley Reads, and there was just some of our favorite comments we found. Wait, what? We also wanted to do a segment that was just like Riley Reads, and it's just oh, oh, it's and reading just some read. of our favorite just comments that are just funny. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. If yeah, you wouldn't mind, yeah. I think yeah. just read some you of You want to finish this and do yeah, Riley I wanna, There's a couple more of these Pornhub things. Oh, these are great. I love when they do the maps. So this is This is the most. Popular searches God, for Idaho each Idaho is so state. fucking country. Tickling in Minnesota. Tickling? Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I get you. God damn. The holidays are here. What's the best get to give Stiff Socks Patreon? I'll say it. <laughs> I'm, not ba I'm not biased. You're not. No. The best gift to give a Stiff Socks fan who doesn't have Patreon is... Freaking Patreon. Yeah, your boyfriend's making you listen to this episode in the car. And he's like, babe, you got to check out these two guys. Do this podcast where we talk about comments. It's like, yeah, okay. And he's a simple man. Get him the Patreon and blow his load and mind. Do you know what's better than one cum? Two cums. Two cums. And the Patreon gives you an extra episode ad-free. Drops every Friday. No, like you don't understand. A full episode okay. with zero ads. Yeah. We're about to record one. It's an hour. No ad. No ads. Zero. Z none. How much is it? It must be like $70 billion. I'll tell you this. What? It's like a dollar per episode, basically. Dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five per episode. Easy. Ad free. So, so you're telling me you get four episodes a month for yep. five dollars. Yep. 
Super. And let me tell you something. It's behind the paywall. So a lot of wild shit is said. I personally hold back stories. Yeah. I do not want to say them on a regular episode. Yeah. It's a little spicy. And I put it on Patreon. Yeah, hit because, our spicy link if you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because here's the thing, dude. This podcast, I don't know if you know this, a little big. So, dude, my uncle listened to it. I have an aunt that listened to it. My freaking landlord listened to it. So there's certain stuff I don't want to say on the regular yeah. episode. So save for the Patreon. Um, He's so... Yes, I do. Yeah, we'll talk about some wild stuff on there. And if any person we've ever dated would listen to that, we would never be... You get it. So Patreon.com backslash Stiff Socks Pod. And Stiff Socks Plus on Apple. Um, same bonus content, um, but no video. So, Patreon or Stiff Socks Plus. Go do it. We love you guys. Uh, on back to the episode. Uh, splat. God damn. Whoa, North Dakota. <laughs> Jesus Honestly? Christ. No, no, no. Everyone shut up. North Dakota is loud, wet sex. Ooh. What the, are they doing ASMR over there? Yeah, I don't. I don't even understand. Everybody from North Dakota just came to see Riley do in that. in Wyoming. Oof, God, this is the fucking best. Texas. I don't like Texas. Is creamy. They might as well just write case. Creamy. <laughs> I don't even understand with cream of corn. Like what? What's like the the cream that comes out of? A, I don't understand. It, what is this, by the way? Are we just the top? This search is top things? searches of the fifty states on the old hub. Yeah, Wyoming is dot. Nip slip. Where's, Where's that at? Slip? That's got to be Utah. Virginia. Yeah. Are any my, of these? Wait, real? what is body no. swap? Wait, hold on. Nevada's just the capital. Nevada just says Vegas. <laughs> is this a brand deal for Las Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> this is odd, bro. Uh, so here's the thing. This it's that's not technically what this is. This is the term searched more often in each state when compared to all others. So people in Wyoming searched goth more than people in any other I gotta state. I got to go to Wyoming. But it's not yeah. necessarily but the top. But some search. of these are insane. I mean, Alabama, get it together. Fingering myself? <laughs> no, I'm into that. I dude. mean, they need to search more therapy. What the hell's going on? Ohio's got it going on, dude. Ohio's small dick? Small dick. I Wait, love that. Dude, Ohio, Mi Michigan what? did bondage because they're always talking about the fucking mitts, these idiots. What's but what Maryland? is body swap? I think, I mean, it sounds like a freaky, freaky Friday thing, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what, I, that's oh. what I'm, I was like imagining. Yeah, maybe. Florida's kind of fun. Fantasy, the fantasy, they don't live in Florida. That's pretty cool. Arizona, <laughs> yeah, Disney, Arizona, come on. Oh, Orlando. Yeah. Arizona is car sex, and that's Ooh, crazy. Oh, Alaska, sex doll, because there's not enough people. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Dude, there's so many, there's no women. But I don't. No Arizona's women. a thousand no degrees. Zero. Why would anybody want to have car sex in Arizona? It feels like Hold you're on. fucking in an air fryer. Hawaii did Hawaiian. I mean, get more creative. <laughs> no, they're keeping. That's it, insane. No, they're keeping it employees only. You know, furry Mississippi loves furries. Mississippi. I gotta get into furries. I feel like it's hot. I, I think it is like hot in the actual outfit. Hundred percent. But like, I don't think really? it's sexually attractive. I don't know, man. There's something about like not knowing who you're fucking is hot. And then you're like fucking well, like- Well, you could just like, do like a bag over your head. You don't need to dress up yeah, like a like golden Yeah, like not doodle. knowing, like to pretend to be fucking Barney is fucking weird. Yeah, it is little, weird, like, but also, I mean, <laughs> you know. What? But how do you, no. fuck, how do you <laughs> fuck Barney with that big ass tail? Or he fucks you? Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. He's oh, fucking me. I love you. <laughs> 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 Gets real weird quick. Uh, Big Bird lays it down. All right, that's enough on that topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Big Bird. Yeah, I mean, some of these are just yeah. very fun or right on brand. Utah is just Mormon. It, what is, do they do Mormon porn? Isn't that just a gangbang? Yeah, just one Mormon. guy with 12 wives? <laughs> Nothing? Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> Washington is sensual sex. Losers. Oh, Wisconsin swingers. I love that. I love that, dude. Good for that. I feel like Oklahoma is missing a few words there. Just sex dick? You can't have That's the horniest one here. They just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. It, it feels yeah. like they're missing a couple letters, just like their amount of teeth. Oklahoma. Let's I'll be there it. next January. I don't know when I'll be there. Hold on, hold on. Nebraska's rub? Wait, what is this? Oh, what's what's what is what is this? Just wait, rub. Wait, Tennessee is hilarious. Wait, wait. I don't even know if that's a category. Oh, yeah. Genesee. Giant, giant test. Giant test. That's a thing. You've never it's, seen these? No. no what's giant woman. test? Yeah. Tall is he? And so they I, shoot I thought it. they just took part of their name and then just Googled it. No, and they shoot it from like these Dutch angles where it's like you shoot oh, the yeah. woman from like kind of low angle. So she looks really big. Well, some of she, them are also very tall women. Oh, that's really? true too. Yeah. And so the dudes are really, really tiny? Yeah. Or you film so it like, like a, just like a POV where I pretend to stop. Oh. It's like a short, short No, short I, just, I, I, I just I thought, was doing it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, can I ask you what the most you've ever like fucked somebody up on set is? Like on yeah. some BDSM shit? Like did oh, you ever beat somebody's ass? I have, but I actually like once or actually twice 
cut a penis with my nails jerking it off. I like my nails slit, like <gasps> sliced going down. Before I had like, I didn't used to do acrylics and stuff because I used to be like all natural. So I just had like my yeah, real nails. Acrylics are like a bayonet to a dick. And, well, the, the acrylics are thick, so you can't yeah. scratch it. My, I had my real nails, oh, which are thin, oh no. like real nails. And, so I like slid it like a fucking paper cut. And did he stop? And we had to cut, we, we couldn't finish shooting both times because every time his dick got hard, some blood would, would start be squirting out of the little cut. Wow. That must have been. I don't know if it like some hurt rub shit. Shout out Nebraska. It, like, felt like kind of like a paper cut. Right. So, like, hurt well, you're in it. It's not like you're doing it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. I was like, right. it's just him going off, on. Yeah. And, but it happened twice, actually. Holy shit. Yeah. So I was wow. like, okay, I got to find you ever done my like nails a, more. You ever done anything with like a stiletto and like stepped on yeah, his I've neck done, or something? I've done stuff like that where I stomp on the guys or kick the guys in the balls. And Can I ask you, are you like really kicking them? Yeah, I or am. Like, oh, no, it's not I, WWE. They, yeah, no, they get really upset if you're not really kicking them. Wow. And like, yeah, no. So I, they they just why they open. want you to stay in character as well. Yeah. Like like there's times where I was like kick them and then like cut scene and I'm like, are you okay? And they would Correct. be like mad at me for asking because they're like really in that whole character and stuff. But wow. like, like one time I did push it too far where I was like talking to a guy and like then I started like in the scene and I started talking to him about like his parents and how his parents must feel about him <laughs> being a this sissy boy. And I was like, oh, oh, I think I'm, I'm pushing, the, I'm pushing <laughs> the limits a little too much. But he he came really hard and he was like, that was super hot, but it, it was a little yeah. A little close. That post not regret is hilarious. Like you didn't mean the whole parent stuff, did you? He's just crying in the corner. Oh, and no. the fascination with that is they just want to be. They want to be like cuckolded yes, type thing. They gotcha. want to be humiliated. They want to be degraded and stuff like that. So when like you're that. kicking, are they get, getting harder as you're kicking? I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily always how it is. And a lot of times okay. with those guys, I'm not even paying attention to what their dick is doing because oh, I'm kicking them. Yeah, so right. like, I'm, that means my energy is like, I, I don't give a dick. fucking fuck about you, you fucking and little they, bitch. And they love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I wonder how you find out you're into that stuff. I think as so your you mom is spanking you. <laughs> Yeah. You're like, wow, mom, harder. Or you get nuts happening in like middle school and you're like, hold on. Or I love that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or, they or your grandparents. Yeah. Or they or would meet uncle. the guy by the flagpole, get an ass beat and be like, oh, you guys want to go in here tomorrow? I just He's came. knocked out and he has his own flagpole. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know how you yeah, find that type of stuff. Damn. The stiletto. I, oh, man. I, I feel like I'd try it. Kick me into stiletto. It'd be fun. And it's a small bruise because the stilettos are. Uh... I'm not personally very into it. I'm not like very into like abusing. What, what, so are, you, what are you? What are you into? Like, all, like off porn? Just like what? What are you into? Or is it just like an array of stuff? Um, like when I'm watching porn, or like what? Like I actually actually. Like, I mean, I love women, okay. so I think like I I really enjoy being with women. Dude, me too. <laughs> Women are so yeah. awesome. Yeah. I don't. No, no. I mean, like, just sexually. I mean, like, oh, yeah. I think women are awesome. But I just mean, like, I don't want to, like, date a woman. Me neither. And, right. like, yeah, I just have, like, friendships with them. But, yeah. uh no. Cool friendship. I want to yeah. have friendships with women. Yeah. Me, me, yeah. I just want to have. Yes, dude. That sounds so fun. Kicking it. You get a latte. You get jerked off. And they get in their Corolla and they leave. No one's on board with him. Have you had this experience? No. Getting a latte and jerked off in a Corolla. That sounds like somebody's searching for that in Utah. It's a pretty <laughs> right down the middle, pretty right down the middle day for somebody out there. So fascinating. Where'd you meet your husband? Instagram. Really? No. Yeah. Did he slide in or There's you slid hope. in? I slid in. You slid in? Yeah. I love that. What was your opening line? Um, I, I'm Riley Reed. No, okay. I was waiting for him to post about something that would make me because I'm a porn star. So I was like, how can I not come across as a Beautiful. porn star? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can I humanize myself? And so he actually posted about a book that I read, and I was like, that's oh, my way in. Yeah. God. I was like, I read that book too. It's a great book. How are you doing? Like, love your stuff. Like, we should do a collab one day because again, not trying to push like too much romance because I was like, let me meet you. Yeah, and so yeah. like, I feel like a collab is like not a romantic affair at all. It's like coming into a podcast. So you, you it's not romantic at all. Right. Like, you, but you he, manifested your husband. You're like, this is the guy I need. I, I want him. I'm, I want I'm a guy like right this. Time. I'm going to find this kind of guy or whatever. Oh, so, what, is, what, is he, what does he do? I'm sorry, he's a Red Bull parkour athlete and he's a stunt guy. Parkour? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, actually something super crazy. So I don't know if you know that there's a movie that just came out um, 
uh, the Not boy important. who's the boy who lived the stunt guy from Harry Potter. He did like like the all of the Harry Potter movies, basically all of them. Yeah. And then in one of them, I was a number seven, I think, that he uh par- he got paralyzed on set. They like did a, a stunt no, and he was no, paralyzed. No, 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 no. And no. this guy used to be like one of my husband's type. Like they weren't friends, but I just mean like their character were like flippy yeah. fucking boys, run up a wall, do backflips, <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of fucking badass dude. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden he's fucking paralyzed oh, his movie just oh, came out uh on netflix or something and yeah. his ve- the very last line as the as a movie is about to roll credits he's like oh like i'm gonna call greg talion or something i don't know his last name greg was on set with my husband and just broke his spine and it happened like the day after that movie just oh. came out and i was like pasha you can never be on a stunt ever like you can't do stunts i was like i feel like you're cursed like yeah i was like that guy was paralyzed it's and his movie came baton. out and then he said greg and now greg broke his spine Greg is walking and everything yeah. again. Okay, so Greg, like, thank Greg, God. Yeah, but yeah. it was just like, I was just like, oh my God, like I'm like scared. I was yeah. I was like, I'm not a superstitious person, but I was right. like, but I was like, but what the fuck was that? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Too many things. Lightning doesn't strike twice and it kind of just yeah. did. So what the fuck's wow, going ins- on? Yeah, it was super scary. Like my, my husband was just filming a movie and he, he actually came back early because the guy broke his spine Yo, in three places. He's already in oh, rehabilitation. He's already walking. But like okay. this guy's like a... Uh, Tom Holland's stunt guy is this wow. guy Greg or whatever. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Like he's like this like major guy, and it's. I was just like, oh my god! I literally, oh I was my telling god. my husband, I was like, is he never gonna do Standing Sixty Nine ever again? Ever? <laughs> I was like, that is he the saddest says, thought I've ever had. Parallel like, Six Nine this on the is ground. Not okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like uh, he was like this beautiful. He's like beautiful boy, and I was yeah. like, he's not married, no kids. I was like, he must have Standing Sixty Nine. Like this guy needs, life. he needs to but get But I better. will say, if I was a chick and, I, and a man was paralyzed from doing stunts, that's such a turn on. I mean, yeah, it's super fucking hot. Yeah, yeah. but like, you don't want to be paralyzed. Like, oh fuck, the, no, the guy, no, no. like, the story was so sad. He's like, I feel claustrophobic in my body. Oh, like, man. could you fucking imagine being no. able to like? Do all this crazy shit, like, and then, like, like even just being able to do what you can and then do nothing. But, like, to be even more... Wow. Oh insane. my god. So since he does parkour, does he get cool stuff like like Mrs. Incredible doesn't like but hey, can you hand me that salt? He does like a gainer flip over the table. He and must do it. cool shit. Like I would He's be- always like trying to do some crazy fucking shit or whatever. And like I'm always just like I, I need just to don't go. Hurt yourself. I yeah. need to go like upstairs. I can't watch. So I'm like, yeah. you're gonna fucking yeah. jump off Honey, the roof. Honey, put your shin guards like, on. Yeah, he no. just jumps he off, the jump off the roof. Yeah, he jumps off the roof into the pool, and like his whole that's like, cool. Pasha's thing is like trying to get as close to the edge as possible without hitting it. So he'll sure. be standing here and flip with getting his head like this fucking close, because like that's his whole thing is trying to get as close as possible without injury. Oh, and so my I'm just like, God, okay, and like that's it's crazy. it's too much. Where, did you so prior to you sliding into DMs? Did you meet like meet him on set or did you? No, meet no, him? no. I just, just like I just saw his work and stuff wow. and thought he was like super rad and, and at the time I was like really into Naruto and so he he like reminded me of like Naruto yeah. I was like you're real life Naruto like your blonde hair he had like an orange jumpsuit kind of like him and I was like <laughs> and you do the flips and he does like the superhero like poses and yeah, stuff yeah. and like I was like, wow, he's like a Naruto. That's love at first sight. He, I thought he was so hot online. And I actually didn't even know that he was Latvian. So he speaks Russian. I didn't even know he had an accent. Hot. So like, wow. yeah. And then I met him. I was like, oh, I was like, who are you? That like, what so the fuck? That's so cool. That has so many. Oh, that's awesome. That is so hot. Dude, can you imagine being him getting a DM from you? I would have paid a thousand dollars to watch his reaction when he saw his fucking phone. From he probably did a back He actually off the like roof. we did it. Like he he kept putting off meeting me for like three months. Really? Oh wow. And my yeah, my therapist was like, "Don't pursue people who aren't interested in." And you're like, "No, no, I feel something." And I was something. like, "Nah, I'm gonna yeah, be it's, persistent." No, this guy does fucking bad flips, bitch. <laughs> no, sometimes I was my therapist and I go, "No, I I I, I trust myself on this one." <laughs> yeah, but in the moment I was like, "You're right, you're right," and then I hang up the fucking computer like, "You're he, an idiot." Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Wow. Good for you the wedding That's anything awesome. crazy yeah our the, wedding was super sick we had diplo perform oh, he's like I a friend him. of mine yeah. so like we had him play we had chromio perform and our wedding was so fun like, That's we a had great lineup. i didn't That's really sick. have that much family i'm not super close with my family yeah. so it's like i invited like my community that i've cool. created and he has like a very similar world with parkour he, his community so we just kind of invited all of our friends and we're just doing flips in the crowd That's yeah we had so a trampoline cool. at Shut our, up. yeah everyone was doing all crazy kind of fucking 
doing break dancing. Like Dude, uh, all of his friends so are like all those. Yeah, it, it was so, so cool. fun. And my sister actually is, uh, does like acrobat type stuff. So she did like an aerial hoop performance. So as everybody's well. just spinning. I, yeah, I was. Yeah. yeah, I was like, we blend really well. Like yeah. our lives. The neighbors probably looked over, saw Diplo, and saw people doing backflips. Like that's some good ass Molly right there. <laughs> they are rolling tits over there. <laughs> That's we were definitely awesome. having fun. That's so great. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. God damn. God damn. Thank Can we do you. some of the the, yeah. the reads? And then yeah, let's do it. Pretty um, close to. So, yeah. So what we did was we compiled some of our favorite um, comments from uh, Riley Reed videos on Pornhub. Their dick sizes are never accurate. Apparently, Johnny Sins has a six inch cock, but mine is six inch and his looks like 12. <laughs> <laughs> Camera, the camera had denial, six inches, though. baby. <laughs> this is in such denial. I just picture him like he has like a Johnny Sins like POV on his phone. He's looking down. He's like, I, I don't see the difference. Yeah, same Z's. <laughs> so just speaking of, is there, is there sizes that you're just like, that's, what's your perfect size is what I'm trying to get to. I'm like an average size person. I love it. What yeah. about six inches? Is that fine? I Say yes. I am more of a girth girl than an inch girl. All right. I think so long as you know where the G spot is, which is not very far. It's not very far. No, it's just a soft. The G spot is like this far in. Yeah, just a soft. You just you Hold find up. the soft little. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it feels like sponge. <laughs> where is it? It's just it's go right. back to that map. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> it's this. It's like you put your fingers. Yeah, in, it's, it's a little. Like it's a like little the spongy. Soft. The spon The spongy. Piece. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there. You, I know you've been there. Uh, yeah, no, I, sometimes I go there for vacation for the holidays. Uh, you know, I'll visit the G spot for Christmas. You want to orbits.com? <laughs> yeah, yeah, me, hang out. What does this one say? Okay. I don't want to feel horny. I want to feel love. I haven't seen anyone in weeks, and I don't know how much longer I can take being alone. Oh, this is, first but of all, 26 people liked it. You're not alone. This, this is three years ago. How is this person doing? That is a great question. I'll tell you, but we'd have to cut it. <laughs> Damn, Riley is a national fucking treasure. She is so grateful for her presence. What a lovely young lady. That's how my that grandma would write sweet. a Pornhub comment. That's a great comment right She's, there. Oh, this one's got a lot of likes, whatever ooh. it is. I'm struggling to cook rice. It's either sticky or the bottom burns, but I want to aim for that perfect fluffy rice. Any ideas? Any ideas? Jerk your cock well, and stop dub, talking dub. about r recipes. But it got 659 likes, so that's a lot of people. I kind of like the crunchy rice at the bottom mixed with the top. It's kind of Same. a fun thing, you know? I think it's just like a universal thing where we all fucking suck at making rice. Yeah, what is that? I don't know, but I've I don't think I've ever the only rice that I've ever made that was like sort of fine is the the ones in the packet that you put in for a minute and thirty <laughs> 90 seconds. seconds. Uncle Ben, Uncle Ben's dude, I love him. This is make dick big hard. <laughs> yeah, that's appropriate. The the horny are the less words you start using to the point where you just start grunting. I mean, <laughs> this this guy is. Yeah. Losing oxygen by the second. This is the guy who uh, invented fire. This guy's so fucking <laughs> yeah. back in He's the in day. He's in the Geico commercials, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Finally, a porn where the TV is actually on. That's I agree. Me too. It's never on. They're never playing video games. The remote's not on, but they, they're thinking about it. You know what I don't like? Amateurs when they leave the TV on. Or there's too much EDM in the background. Yeah, they're please like, turn it off. I'm trying to rub one out. I'm also trying to listen to her, and I don't like when the guy's like, oh, oh, no one's here for you, sir. Well, sometimes it Okay, yeah, but that's the part of where I actually think that so many people will talk about women being objectified in porn and yeah. I think the men are objectified because men are asked to not fucking breathe you only yeah. want to see this fucking much of him yeah. he doesn't fucking matter Damn, and so true. like I always feel really bad for the male porn stars because I think that they deal with way imagine dating the, him yeah. fucking 18 year old girls all the time but he really wants a fucking serious relationship yeah. but no girl is gonna like take him seriously unless right. it's another porn girl that's the only people who are gonna understand him that is it's true. I think yeah, about that. I think that should have a little bit more sympathy for those guys. I do. And then I see how big their dicks are. I'm like, yeah, you get everything. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Yeah, you know. He's fine. He's, he's got fucking 18-year-old girls yeah. every day. With a yeah. kickstand of a cock. I'm sick of this. 11 inches, and he's like, oh, I'm sad. No, are you? Look down at your cock. <laughs> but I do agree. That is very interesting. I feel like a lot of guys would just date a porn star, and they're like, oh, that's fine. But then the girl, the inverse, the girl looking at a guy yeah. be like, you're for the streets. No. Yeah, it's very different. And like I said, he's... You, uh, you want to see me from my toes to the top of my head. You want to see every fucking inch of me. Yeah. That man, you're like, get him fucking out of here. Yeah. I just want his penis. I barely want to see him Just there. get his dick hard. Yeah, maybe, that's it. Yeah. Maybe that's why you Shut like the, the fuck up and get your dick hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Dude, I feel like I'm back in Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Like, I don't know. I feel bad for them. <laughs> Maybe no. that's why you like furry videos because you can't see the guy and it just looks like it a rock. It just Rottweiler really is dehumanizing to the man. I've never, I've never watched a furry video, but I wouldn't be out. But I think. <laughs> I've watched one. <laughs> no, I definitely. I'm watching one right now. But I. I would want. I think because I'm just in the in the video. Yeah, you're like, trying to I'm, make it yourself. I'm me. Yeah. I don't make those sounds. Put it through a br- Adobe is, Premiere, yes. edit it, and dub your own voice in. But then you also have to voice over her. So you have to do both. I think I can do both. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Give it to me. Oh fuck, Michael, you're so big. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. You sound like the guy <laughs> typing that comment. Dick oh, so honey. big. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do like two more of these and we'll move yeah. on. I fucking love her feet. Fuck. Thank you. <laughs> that was Michael. Michael wrote that one. Yeah, that's I, lo- I wrote it. I got uh, nice feet, size six. Stop. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is this one's not dehumanizing to men. <laughs> this one's good. I wish my boyfriend moaned like that. Is this okay, woman? Wish my boyfriend yeah. moaned like that. It's yeah. the same guy. <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 it's his, his girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a match made in a cave right there. I, w- I will say, dude, there's a lot of women who like say that dudes like don't talk dirty. They don't make quiet. sounds. They're they don't. Quiet. They're just quiet. Is that you got to like, be louder than the ceiling fan at yeah. least? You got to be above the call map. Yeah. <laughs> Any other ones? Or should we yeah, just last go one to- here. Last one. Here we go. I don't want to hold my dick anymore. I just want to hold her. You know, I thought that is the nicest thing I've ever heard. Pornhub should do like Valentine's Day cards and have stuff like that in it. Or fuck Pornhub. We put it, you could put it on your website. I mean, thousands of these would sell. You can just do it. That was your idea. Shit, true. It's recorded. Boom. (laughs) (laughs) TrevorWallsComedy.com. Tour days and Christmas cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, those are great. Cool. (laughs) They're so great. Um, Um, She ain't coming back. This is a fucking. Oh, that's wow! Oh my His God. wife left him so long ago, three years ago, actually. <laughs> you have all the choice in the world to make a screen name, and you go, "She ain't coming back." <laughs> I mean, and you spelled "coming" regular. Yeah, it's a porn up thing. Coming, C U M. I mean, you guys know where I'm going. God. Sick of this. In closing, well, we have we have <clears throat> the last thing we have is we uh, we let the audience know that Riley was going to be here today, and we got oh, awesome. a couple of write-ins just for you that I wanted to go through. So that we've got two of Amazing. these here. Um, our first one comes from Allie, and she says. I'm a female fan, and I wanted to let you know that you inspired me to get a back tattoo. Aww. Beautiful. Yeah. See, you're still inspiring people <clears throat> every day. You don't even know. So, oh, yeah. No, I, I s- definitely believe that. That's what I definitely think, like, there's a new 18-year-old boy every day. A new boy turns 18. Yeah. Finding my work. There's yeah. always new people. It's the same thing. Right. It's the same thing as, like, every time a bell rings, an angry angel gets his wings. Oh, Same exact thing. Very yeah. true. With you and and yeah. eighteen year old boy come. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, all right, we got uh, this. Is this one they wanted to be anonymous, but they wanted to write in and say, uh, "Will you let Riley know that I jerked off to a GIF of her on my Nintendo 3DS?" Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Nintendo 3DS? Yeah. Do uh, those have repeat internet? Repeat three seconds. <laughs> We're going to make That's a gift like out of that NPC. right there. Yeah, yes, exactly. Wow. Congratulations to that person. I mean, I didn't even know Nintendo's can go online. Me either. Maybe he. Maybe they just loaded it on here. Like, um, here's the screen. I mean, the screen's not very big, but it does have two. It's kind of a gooning situation. Goon, wow. Oh, that's awesome. Hold on, bro. You get fucking two of those bad boys, four screens. What are you, Buffalo Wild Wings? This is crazy. <laughs> hey. That's great. What else we got? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we have a bunch of people that have written in and just said, I just need her to know that she's my favorite porn star of all time. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, Christian wants to know, who do you think is better looking, Trevor or Michael? Oh, God, I hate this question. Probably Gabe. <laughs> Gabe's producer. the hottest man. It's not even close. I'm going to have to go with uh, Michael because he's got a better outfit on. Oh. Yeah, Michael really did. You have some good fall tones to you. You're just like in those hoodie and pants. <laughs> 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 You're not wrong. <laughs> like, wow. th- like, do you see what I yes, like? You look stunning. Thank you. I will say in in his in like I th- this is this is a moment that I've been waiting for to, to have, have you me on the, on the podcast. Yeah. Aww. So I like I yeah. Not I that I wasn't excited about no, this no, too. Of course, I just of course. He's but, like she's married. Who am I trying to impress? <laughs> that's also true. And, <laughs> Wait till I do a backflip. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, and your boyfriend's a fucking superhero. Can so you? We can't, you look pretty tall. Are I'm you? six foot and I cannot backflip. I can front flip into a pool pretty can well. You? Yeah, I can't, dude, I can't do any flips. I'm so nervous about it all. 
My physical, my sister's a physical therapist. She deals with brain injured patients. Oh my so God. she tells me like wild stories. So I'm scared to do anything. I would love to see her have a conversation with your husband and just be like, please tell me everything. Yeah, that would oh, be Oh yeah, my sister would like, yeah, she would. She yeah, would. Damn, I mean, he I've, already knows. He has friends who course, got yeah, injured. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Now stuff, I feel like, like shit for not dressing up. No, no, no. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. You, this is a I, nice I, I felt like shit being put on spot. So, like, you guys <laughs> are the ones true. who are asking me these <laughs> intense true. questions. Yeah, that's, that's true. a real fuck question. I, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going home for the next episode. I'm changing. <laughs> I'm getting a good fit on. A turtleneck, blazer, gold chain. Um, I want to be a chain guy so bad. Do it. But I can't. I feel like I'm not a chain guy. Why? Not a big one, you but like I want to do. One. You could get a small one. You have a, a watch one. on. Yeah. I think you can do it. I, I, but I don't. I. I think they're cool. I think. You I think you can one. do it. Like yeah. a small one. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it would look nice. <sighs> yeah, it's not just, too flashy. Okay, I just feel like it's a. I don't know. I feel like there's a certain type of chain person and certain type of not a chain person, and I've seen a not chain person. No, wear but a chain. you have a watch on. It's and about I the think it would Yeah. If you didn't have a watch on, I would be like, you're trying too hard. But you already have jewelry. Yeah. So you okay. would be accessorized. All right, I'll try it. Yeah. You guys really, okay, thank you. You guys really, I, I had no confidence in this. <laughs> cool, thanks. That's, yeah. that's what we're here for. <laughs> I have no confidence in this outfit, but that's what we're here for, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go home and throw this in a dumpster fire. Uh, wear like a Versace t-shirt or some shit next time you know I'm sorry your converse are sick though thank your you so much the leather are white converse yeah, are a little dirty but sick. hey thank you so much they you are know? sick I feel like if you probably just had on whatever shirt you have on you would look really way, do you not have better. a shirt on no I do oh. god that'd be the epitome of just classless yeah. but yeah just a great shirt I matched the shirt with I feel with like the I would like it better if you didn't have the hoodie the hoodie just uh, it's also cold outside though But yeah it was like 30% chance of rain I was like yeah, what was it happening was, it was drizzling Give on my way here you know, are we gonna hit I, the clouds? I walked G -spot in freezing. Or what? Do you not you remember? In so I was so, I was like, freezing. I was like, I'm fucking yeah. cold. <laughs> <laughs> I should have worn my card again. God damn it! Last week I wore it. Of all uh, weeks, I wore it for no gas. I wore it for this dumbass. I wore a fun party. <laughs> you look hot. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, we just have one more of these here. Hopefully, but, I'm hoping that this is in reference to a video. But uh, this is a uh, German man says, uh, "I just finished watching Riley Reed get possessed." You, is yeah, this a, yeah. Okay. I did a horror porn. Yeah. How did I miss? Yeah, it? and I got. It was actually really cool. I did some horror stuff where I was like on the floor and looking at the camera, and then they pull me away. Where I'm like, ah! you know, like that kind of. Stuff. I got to do some cool stuff like that. Actually, that was Damn, fun. Pissed. Yeah. Now that you know. Was fun. Did it have a cool name? I don't even. Remember. Halloween G horror G nights. <laughs> Jizz est. I don't Not remember good. actually. I don't even. Wow. Ouija board stepsis? Maybe. It's got a lot of buzzwords in that. Yeah, it does. Great yeah. for SEO. Oh, man. Search Talk engine. about numbers. Numbers right there. Numbers. Sir. Yeah, great holiday scare. <laughs> Did you ever, speaking of Christmas, this comes out on the 27th. Did you ever do anything that was like Christmas themed? I've done Santa. quite a few, but like I don't do that many of the holiday stuff just because it's like it's you can like only timely. sell it. Yeah. Yeah, you can't sell it forever. Yeah, if you yeah. watch that in August, you should be on a watch list. Oh, Nothing? I think so. All right. No, no, I You're think You're watching so. Christmas porn in August? Problem. Like, do you know anybody listens to Michael Bublé in February? Michael Bublé doesn't exist yes, until he does. December. He's, dude, actually, he's got some bangers on. Oh, I'm sure he does. Well, where are we at? Is that? That's a podcast. That's, that's, a, that's, a, podcast. A, that's a podcast. Riley, anything you'd yeah. like to promote, plug, anything, uh, um, any places that they could go see more? Yeah, I have this AI that I just launched. So I have oh. AI, it's a clona.com or clona.ai. You've been hearing so a lot about this. you can talk to this. AI Riley. So that's been really fun. It's Shut like training her and like, up. you know, getting my whole AI thing going. So. And so that's, they're yeah. just taking all the database because you've been online so long that they can just take how you talk and, or did you go in and you talk and they record and they uh, both that. we've done both and and it still it still needs work and everything like that i feel like hopefully within the year like after being uh, uh, online for a year i feel like hope then it'll have a pretty good feeling of myself because it still needs like some training on like how to you know depict how i would respond because there's yeah. i uh, you cannot it's hard to treat teach an ai to be a that'd be human, cool if they could you know, replace but... siri with like riley's ai oh, oh siri's listening F no sorry <laughs> Um, so, so is it like a, it's a companion based platform. So eventually I'm hoping and by February we will have like photo generation and like eventually our goal is to be like the modern of like webcamming. So you would be like webcamming with me and I'm in the room with you camming and we're like talking and you know, I'm doing either whatever you want me to do within guidelines, sure. obviously. Uh, yeah. but 
Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's our that's goal. That's such an incredible idea. And where yeah. can they go for that? Pardon? And where can they see that? Clona.ai. Incredible. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. That's, I, yeah. shit. So Modern day Sims, cool. baby. Let's go. You're so sick of Riley Reed could be your Uber driver. <laughs> Do whatever you want. No, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you have the driverless car, you just sit down, you're like, Riley, what's good? And he's like, where do you want to go? Hot. Yeah. He's like, down. On whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, I'm late. <laughs> 10 stars, 10 stars, 10 stars. <laughs> Riley Reed, thank you so much for coming thank on. You thank so you so much. Check out her AI universe. Uh, yeah, this is a great number one requested guest for a while. So, this is awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. So fun. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are fun. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much, man. As I always say, you guys are the best. So, uh, you know, see you next Wednesday. Hope you guys had wonderful holidays. And uh, and that is it. Come see Mr. Blouse and Mr. Wallace on tour. And uh, big thank you again to Riley Reed. She's awesome. And you guys are awesome. So uh, have a great night, day, and we love you. Bye.